Hey everybody, Wayne here. In today's recon, we're going to look at a game that's been getting a lot of attention lately, and that is the very recently released, um, in fact I think it's being delivered to backers right now, The Shores of Tripoli, strategy game by Kevin Bertram, um, published by Fort Circle Games. I believe it may be their first game, don't quote me on that though. Um, first off, before I get into this, thank you to Kevin um, and Fort Circle Games for providing this game for me to show off to you guys and review. Um, and second, thanks to all of you guys who have been watching my videos, have been subscribing, the numbers are going through the roof, and I really appreciate it. So, all right, let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Like I said, if you're watching this as it's been uploaded, um, this game's just coming out, getting a lot of attention all over the place. I can tell you that I was excited once I kind of heard that I was going to get a copy, I was excited to check it out. Um, nice, heavy box. You can tell it's a thick cardboard, thick box. Um, Shores of Tripoli. Designed by Kevin Bertram. From the end of the American Revolution, commercial vessels of the young United States Republic were easy prey for the pirates of the Barbary Coast. In 1801, newly inaugurated President Thomas Jefferson was eager to put an end to this threat and sent a squadron of observation to the Mediterranean. As a squadron arrived in Gibraltar, they learned that the, the Bashaw of Tripoli had already declared war. All right, so um, as you can see, and we'll, we'll dive into this here, it's going to have cards, it's going to have wooden pieces, um, you're going to have a full mounted map, one or two players, so it does have a solitaire option, playtime 45 to 60 minutes, so let's open her up and uh, see what we got, and by the way, I do love the cover there, I think it's really catching, go ahead, open her up. see what we got here come on get out of there all right it's actually the box is almost like a almost like a linen finish to the box i think really <laughs> it's, it's been too much time on the box but hey nice box very thick so that was gonna hold everything very well we have our rules here historical supplement and designer notes i'll start getting into Pieces, the map, card, dice. Let's go ahead and look at the rules first. Shores of Tripoli. Rules of the game. All right. Component list. Everything written out here. Large font. Very large. Easy to read. Everything separated very well. Victory conditions. Get into the game setup. Sequence of play. American play, moving in combat. Let's see, naval combat, naval bombardment. Only like a page, page and a half. Pirate raids, basic strategy, solitary rules. So it looks like the regular rules, about 10 pages total of good size font. Um, solitary rules look like they're gonna be the last page. Yep, solitary card play requirements. So last couple pages will have solitary rules. Okay, let's see here, look through again. Couple pictures, it doesn't look like there's a ton of examples. So you can see like some cards here listed. And not a lot of pictures or examples. Um, but I mean, it looks, it's very like, it's two columns, but it's, I mean, it's a really big font. So it's not like it's text dense, 12 pages with all the stuff, including the solo. I imagine it'll be a easy game to learn and play. Hopefully, right? All right. Historical supplement designer's notes. First Barbary War. And hey, I'll be honest with you, the first one to admit, I do not know a ton about the First Barbary War or Second Barbary War or um, Barbary, Barbary War episodes three through nine or however many there were. I really don't know. And you know what? That's a great thing about these games. Sometimes, and I know most people don't like to admit this, but sometimes it's okay to go into a game. You don't know a whole lot about the history and you learn the history. You can learn it from the game and learn it from notes like this. So I'm, I'm excited to read through this. I definitely will um, before the game to get started. What do we got here? What is this? Oh, very cool. To Yusuf Karmanli, Pasha and Bay of Tripoli, May 21st, 1801. Great and respected friend. Oh, and it says, looks like it's the, it's the, the letter from uh, President Jefferson saying, hey, uh, we have found it expedient to detach a squadron of observations in the Mediterranean Sea hmm, to superintend the safety of our commerce there and exercise our seamen and nautical duties. So it's, uh, yeah, I like that. I assume this is a historical as well. Very cool. Let's look at the components here of the game. Look at 
what do we got here? So these are the various wooden pieces. It looks like there's something else in here too. What is this? Oh, dive in here if I can get a bag open. So we've got ships here, obviously. And I, again, I've never played the game. I haven't even really read the rule book, so I can't say what the significance of um, these ones with three masts versus, you can see here, some ships looks like just one mast. Not sure what the significance is, the difference. I mean, whether it's a quantity, whether it's a type of unit, I have no idea. But, well, send that flying. Take, still fun to take a look at them. So very nice, looks very cool. Wooden pieces, huh? All right, different kind of game that I'm used to playing, but you know what, sometimes that could be fun. We'll see, we'll see, let me be the judge of that. Some cubes, keep track of random stuff. Little discs. Again, no idea what they're for in the game. Hey, it's an unboxing, it's not a teaching. We're not there yet, so different little cubes and cylinders. Or not cubes, cubes are over there. Cylinders and discs. All right, nice color to them, looks good. All right, phone well, quality seems good. All right, and uh, here we go. A ton of dice, I love it. Whole bunch of dice. Shouldn't even open these, they're gonna fly all over the place. And dice everywhere. Look at that, oh yeah. Bunch of dice, all the different color. I assume it's the colors for the people, but who knows? I like it. I like it. Lots of dice. All right, what do we else we got here? Let's take a look at these cards. Oh, they look fantastic. And uh, it has the little cheaty thing here to grab to pull it open. It, I think it does. It does. I just see if I can grab it. Oh, there we go. Right over here. I was looking at the wrong spot. Boom. You guys have watched me um, spend like two minutes trying to open a pack of cards before, so I'm sure your relief is as great as mine when I can open it up in 10 seconds. Plastic, boom. All right, take a look at these cards. Beautiful linen finish on them. You guys can see that, yep, you can see that on the camera. Thick, nice quality. Um, definitely very good cards, very nice quality. This is comparable to uh, the nicer quality poker cards or for instance some of the, the latest worthington games have had like those really beautiful cards looking at the back of them you can see see it different so here we have from jefferson okay and then um the other guy i don't know his name i'll be honest like i said don't know a lot about the uh barbary war so well that's yusuf carmonley versus Thomas Jefferson. So obviously I would assume the different cards for each side. Move up to eight American frigates, resolve any battles that result. If they're playing as an event, this card is removed from the game. Swedish frigates arrive, place two Swedish frigates in the naval patrol zone of Tripoli. Hammett's army created, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not gonna read every card, but okay. So they have different artwork. Some of them have different artwork on them. Some are gonna be more generic naval movement. So force, tribute paid. So a whole bunch of different cards, I assume for the American player. And for the, what would you call it? The tri the Tripoli player, Tunisian player. I don't know. We're gonna learn though, that's for sure. All right, lots of beautiful cards. Again, very nice cards. I'm not gonna go through every single one. You know how it goes. No time for that. We wanna actually like learn the game play it, right? So, so we got here. Our beautiful mounted map. Beautifully mounted. Nice thick map. Oh, interesting design here. Okay, so this is actually a like it's a long map. So I'm used to the uh, you know, more of a square, I guess, or something, or close to a square. This is a longer one, so not as tall. Very nice on there. You guys can see that very well. For Triple E, Gibraltar. Tangier, 1801 to 1806, spring, summer, fall, winter, okay? Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, Tripletania, Tri Tripletania, I'll, I'll have to learn how to pronounce that, and Egypt way over here, you guys can see, United States Supply, Tripolitan, Tripolitan, so that's the other side, right? So, United States and Tripolitan, the type of ice cream, um, I'm kidding, Neapolitan. Uh, Alexandria, Benghazi, Malta. All right, very cool. Looks very, very nice, very easy to read, super easy to read. So this is gonna 
be no problem um, playing with, you know, wherever you're sitting, anything like that. So, all right, what are we at here? Yeah, it's time to call it. We've reached 10 minutes. You know, my, I like to keep my videos about 10 minutes. So, sure is a triple E. Looks very nice. Um, component quality is great. Haven't read the rules, haven't played it, so I can't comment on the rules or anything yet. But I'm excited for two reasons. One is to learn about a, a conflict that, I, I'll be honest, I don't know a whole lot about. Hey, sometimes that's fun, right? So I'm going to learn about it from what the game offers. I'll probably do some of my own reading. And then uh, we're going to dive into this one. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to some you know, playthrough, review, tutorial, my usual. Uh, we'll kind of see how the game works. So uh, if you like this one, if you've played it, let me know below what you think of it. If you haven't but you're interested, also let me know below what you think. So until next time, guys. Later.